Hello, it's Zoe from TBH Studying and unfortunately due to some unforeseen circumstances I have to film in a college library study room instead of my dorm so I might be a little quiet. I will try to adjust the sound and editing the volume levels when I get to it in the editing process but no guarantee there but here we are and <laughs> we're gonna make the best of our circumstance. Today's video is all about TikTok morning routines. So if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, you probably know that I've been in sort of like a mental funk for the last couple of weeks and I thought what better way to try and get myself out of a funk than to try some TikTok morning routines. So I went on TikTok and I found some like some of the most common morning routines, a lot of that girl routines and generally all the morning routines seem to consist of like making your bed in the morning when you wake up, waking up extremely early, working out in the morning and then journaling and then all of the usual like morning stuff like brushing your teeth, washing your face, having breakfast, etc, etc, etc. So I thought I would try out some TikTok morning routines for a week and see if doing a morning routine like that would actually boost my productivity and help me feel more productive, more healthy, and more mindful. The only thing I didn't film was the journaling because I wanted that to be a private space where I could just like talk to myself and communicate my feelings and writing and I felt like that was a little too private and personal to film so that's the only thing I didn't film but everything else I did exactly as the morning routines said they would. I will also link all the TikTok creators um, accounts down below in the description if you're interested in watching any of them for your own. So without further ado, let's begin. A lot of the morning routines that I watch seem to have the people wake up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., but I'm really not a morning person. I'm 100% a night owl, so I thought waking up at like 7, 7.30 would be a good alternative to waking up at 5 o'clock because I don't think my biological clock would even let me wake up at 5 a.m. And 7, 6.30, 7.30, that's like already kind of a stretch for me. So that's the time that I generally woke up around. And also my school's gym doesn't open until like 7, 7.30 anyways. So I just decided to wake up at that time so I could actually make it to the gym to work out. So on one hand, I am more awake than I was before I did the workout, but on the other hand, I can visibly tell that I've lost like my stamina and like a lot of like my original like muscular ability that I gained when I did Chloe Ting back in like 2020 at like the start of the pandemic when I was like, I'm going to be ripped when I go back to school. <laughs> So I, I am more awake. I am, however, very sweaty and very discouraged. <laughs> so I finished showering. I'm on my way to breakfast. We may be late. We might not make it. <laughs> but ta-da! Morning routine almost complete. I really don't want to wake up right now. <laughs> For the first few days, it was really hard to wake up because I had adjusted to waking up later in the morning and because I'm in such a depressive state nowadays, I often find myself sleeping in to like 10, 11, even noon sometimes and I often like have been missing classes in the morning so that's why I decided to try and do this in the first place but I started and it was okay. It was like fine. Once again, I'm extremely sweaty and Luna's playing with her toy <laughs> in the background. I will say, I think the toughest part of this daily like morning routine thing is the workout part instead of the actual waking up part because it's just the process of exercising in the morning that's the hardest for me. Like I'm the type of person who prefers to work out in the afternoon rather than the morning, but you know, it is what it is. And now I am sweaty and I will shower. As the week progressed, I could definitely feel that my energy levels were a lot lower than they used to be before. And I suspect this is a combination of reasons. I think it's because I wasn't used to waking up early. I'm not used to working out in the morning. So possibly my energy levels and my productivity levels could have been lower just because of those factors. But one thing that I did notice is that I ended up getting a lot more work 
done earlier in the day, in the morning and early afternoon, rather than doing a lot of my work in the late afternoon and night that I usually tend to do. Another benefit that I found from working out was that it actually woke me up. Like I definitely didn't want to get out of bed and do the workout, but after the end of the workout, I felt a lot better. I had a lot of endorphins going through my body and I felt more awake than I was before working out. It's just that that effect is kind of temporary and it only lasted me for the morning and early afternoon. And then by the late afternoon and night, I could feel myself like slipping into a state of fatigue. Like it was really exhausting. I had a harder time staying awake in my afternoon classes. So that was definitely a con, but I wonder if I could possibly work out later in the day, like maybe late morning or early afternoon to get the same kind of benefits from the workout later in the day. Towards the end of the week, I got more used to the routine and it got easier to wake up and do the workout, but I still felt pretty like fatigued at the end of the day and my circadian rhythm still hadn't really adjusted to the new routine. So maybe I I should have done the morning routine for a month instead of a week, but quite frankly i i did not enjoy it like this was a week that i did out of sheer willpower because no other part of my body wanted to do it like i said before i'm really not a morning person so i did a lot of research and i did some readings and it turns out everyone's body is like physiologically and genetically a little different so for morning people it's just that their bodies are like are just naturally attuned to waking up early. Forcing yourself to become a morning person, if you're not a morning person, could make you more fatigued and throw off your own personal circadian rhythm a lot more. And there's no like scientific proof that I could find that waking up at 5 a.m. every single morning actually contributes to an increase in productivity and an increase in work output it's just that like all the people you see who are like billionaires always cite like waking up at 5 a.m to work really hard it's like more of a popular cultural conception rather than a true scientific fact the one thing i will say is that it is a little bit more productive to wake up early if you're in a work situation that requires you to have a lot of meetings a lot of communication because i find that it's easier to meet with people in the morning but then again that's just the nature of like the typical nine to five work schedule that we as a society have created and that's not necessarily because we as people are adapted to work better in the morning in regards to my depression, I honestly didn't feel like my morning routine changed anything. The one benefit is that I got more sunlight in a day that I normally did, but that's also because we're in daylight savings time now, the days are getting longer, we have more sunlight now, so that's honestly a byproduct of the seasons rather than a byproduct of this specific TikTok morning routine. All in all, I think I learned some valuable lessons. I learned that I do have the willpower to do something for a week. So that's nice. I also enjoyed the after effects of working out, but I think in the future, I would rather work out in the afternoon. And I think my ideal waking up time is probably somewhere around like 8, 8.30, possibly even 9. And pushing it any earlier just really throws off my sleeping schedule. But again, that's specifically for me and my body and my circadian rhythm. If you're a morning person, I applaud you. Like, I could not do what you're doing. But at the end of the day, morning routine or not, 7 a.m. or 9 a.m., regardless of what happens, at the end of the day, your productivity output is determined by how you structure your schedule and how you can make your life and your schedule fit to you the best. So I think that's the moral of the story. TikTok routines, they're fun to watch. They're like aspirational, but they're not actually realistic. And that's that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you are a morning person or if you have a morning routine. I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful, lovely, safe time. Bye-bye.